My name is Colin Jarvis and I belong to Preston Photographic Society and what I hope to do in the next few minutes is just to introduce you to some of the basic features of a typical digital SLR such as this Nikon D300 and um, we'll set up some shots and talk about how we're going to improve those shots and set the camera to get the best out of those shots. Okay, uh, photography is all about capturing the light that comes through the lens and the two variables that you can change to capture that amount of light is the shutter speed and the aperture. Most people have their cameras set on auto which isn't the best choice really because the camera's deciding which shutter speed to use and which aperture to use and it may not be the best choice for what you're actually trying to achieve. If you're trying to do sports photography whereby you're capturing very fast action you need to set the camera on shutter speed priority which means that you are then deciding what shutter speed to actually use. If you want to capture fast action, you're going to need to use a fast shutter speed, such as a thousandth of a second. Whereas if you want to blur the action to get a creative shot, you might want to set the shutter speed at maybe a fifth of a second. In which case, of course, you'd have to have a tripod to make sure that you're not uh, shaking the camera when you're taking the shot. Okay, in this uh, setup, uh, I've set the camera to shutter speed priority. So what I'm doing, I'm actually changing the shutter speed on the camera and the camera is automatically adjusting the aperture to get the correct amount of light onto the sensor. Now I'm going to use the slow shutter speed in this case because I want to blur the movement of the seagulls as they're flying around to make a bit more of a creative shot than just having them frozen on the, on the film. So I've set the um, shutter speed to a 25th of a second and the camera selected F20 as the aperture. So hopefully when the birds start moving and I press the shutter, shutter release button, the seagulls are going to be nice and blurred in the image flying across the screen. So we'll try that. OK, this time I'm going to take the shot again, but use a much faster shutter speed so that the movement of the birds is frozen uh, when I take the shot. So this time I've showed, chosen a shutter speed of two and a half thousandth of a second, really, really quick. The other factor that influences the amount of light that's getting to the sensor in the camera or the film if you're using a film camera is the aperture and the aperture is the hole in the lens that allows the light through. The setting on the aperture depends on the depth of field so if you have a very small aperture a very small hole that the, lens, that the light is going through this will give you a very big depth of field. The other factor that influences the amount of light that gets onto the sensor on the camera or the film, if you're using a film camera, is the aperture. And the aperture is basically the hole in the lens that allows the light in. If you use an aperture of perhaps f22 on the lens, it means that um, everything's going to be in focus from the front of the lens right the way out into the distant background. Now that's probably not the best uh, aperture to use if you're trying to take a portrait, as we're going to do in a second, because what we're trying to do with the portrait is to uh, isolate the figure in the portrait from the background. Because if we've got all these uh, boats and things in the background and they're in focus, it's going to make things look a bit distracting. So the best way of doing it is to change the aperture on the camera to maybe something like f2.8 which means that um, everything is going to be in focus just in the first couple of feet and then in the background it's going to be nicely out of focus, nice blurred, so that you're actually isolating the subject from the background. So let's have a go first of all at taking a shot with an aperture of maybe f18, something like that. Okay, so we're going to take a shot using f18. Okay, now on that shot, uh, the boats are going to be quite um, distinct in the background, quite in focus. So we're going to change the aperture down to something like f2.8. And you should see 
that the boats go really nicely blurred and yet the subject in the front maintains its sharpness. move back a bit. Okay. Okay, in this shot uh, we're going to use a reflector just to bounce a little bit of uh, uh, light back into the subject's face. Um, even though it's a fairly soft uh, lit day, it's not very harsh shadows or anything, it's often a good idea just to use a bit of reflector just to put a bit of light into the subject. So we're going to take the shot again. Move out slightly. Okay. Okay, the camera I'm using here, this Nikon D300, uh, enables you to change the lenses, which uh, opens up a whole range of creative, op creative opportunities. For example, in this shot, I've got a wide angle lens, a 12 to 24 millimeter lens. So I'm going to try and do um, a bit more of a creative shot of this overhead gantry uh, using the wide angle lens. Okay, and as you'll see when you see this shot, um, it's right up close, quite distorted because of the wide angle of the lens, but um, if you get the uh, subject positioned in the frame correctly, you can get nice lines coming in from the corners to make quite an attractive composition. Okay, I hope you found this short tutorial interesting. Uh, just to recap, um, quite useful to take the camera off the auto setting. Uh, you can get much more creative with your photography if you set either for aperture priority or shutter speed priority. Just to recap about aperture, it means that you're controlling the depth of field when you set your aperture so that you can have the subject in focus, the background nice and blurred, or alternatively you can have the whole thing in focus, for example if you're taking a shot of a landscape. Shutter speed priority means that you're setting the shutter speed, slow shutter speed if you want to blur some of the action, fast shutter speed if you want to freeze it, so if you're taking shots of sports or motor racing or something like that. So once again, I hope you found it useful. If you want to extend your photography, why don't you pop down to Preston Photographic Society. Uh, you can find us on the website, do a search in Google for it. Season starts in September. Thanks very much.